Chris Spiker. It's an AV Nice story. This morning we're at the Lancaster Chamber of Business for breakfast at Schooners, 30th and L. And the students from uh, Jamie's class at Lancaster High School are coming to get some money together for a combat wounded veteran that we need to take care of and build a house for that he and his family can live in for a long time. So come on in, let's check it out. J.D. Kennedy from Congressman McKeon's office. We're here this morning uh, supporting Lancaster High School students with Operation All the Way Home, uh, helping our veterans. Uh, in the last seven months, uh, Congressman McKeon's office has been able to assist over 70 veterans get their VA benefits, whether that be health care, uh, medical needs, uh, education benefits, or in the case with Operation All the Way Home, with some housing needs. Um, we've been able to bring um, over $700,000 in back pay to our veterans in the Animal Valley this year for the last seven months, and we've been able to assist, uh, I believe it's 73 right now, veterans with their VA benefits in some way, shape, or form. And one of those veterans was Gerald Hancock, who's a 100% disabled, paralyzed, amputee Army veteran. He was an Army tanker, blown up and almost burned to death in Iraq back in January. A friend of mine introduced me to him. He was he had about a fever of 103. His teeth were chipping away while he was eating macaroni and cheese. Um, he needed some dental work, obviously, but his handicap accessible van was hung up uh, waiting for some VA money to pay for a repair, so he couldn't get to the dentist. So we were able to step in, get his van paid for, get him to the dentist. And actually, a local dentist uh, stepped up to the plate, Dr. Weber, and was taken care of him in the VA. Yeah. Started to look at how we could get him into some suitable housing. He's, he's currently living in a trailer on the east side of Lancaster, which is fine for most of us, except for it's not really handicap accessible. He's got two kids, he's got a mom and a stepdad that uh, are his caretakers, he's got a sister, and it just what well, it's not a good situation. So while we were actually looking for different ways we could assist them and supervise the time, which has helped out quite a bit with that. Uh, the students of uh, Pride of the Nation, Operation All the Way Home, uh, met Gerald at Pride of the Nation this year. They were inspired to start doing something uh, more on a grassroots level. In the last five weeks, they've raised somewhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars, and I believe they came home for all home. But uh, this time, I'll turn it over to Flory, and she'll tell you how you might be able to get involved and help Gerald get home. Good morning. Um, my name is Flory Antwell, and I'm the commanding officer of Operation All the Way Home. I can so good morning. Good morning. And who are you? Uh, my name is Florian Capel and I'm the commanding officer. And are you a student at Lancaster High School? Yes, I'm a, student. I'm a senior uh, this year at Lancaster High School. Well, today I'm here to talk to you guys and spread the awareness about Operation All the Way Home. We have about 40 Pride of the Nation students that are on the team and we are working vigorously to make sure that this happens. On August 10th, we're going to be having our track chair delivery for Gerald. At Bex, 15% of all sales, alcohol, and bowling alley will go to Oath. On August 18th, we're going to be screening the November War by Garrett Anderson and Antonio De La Torre. It's going to be on the Battle of Fallujah, and we're going to have a silent and live auction right before we screen the movie. So, so our tickets are $25, and you guys can purchase them at PrideOfTheNation.org. Very good, and that's a minimum of 25. No, it's just 25. That's the general uh, admission that we decided to just do all costs. So it's just 25 dollars. I bet you'll accept donations. Yes. Okay. We're accepting donations, or um, and we also have live uh, auctions as well. Well, let's go to work and talk to some chamber members. Okay. Thank you, Sandy. We had a visitor at the uh, business for breakfast today. Yes, we did. It was a uh, great business for breakfast, and I think that the message that was shared with our membership is very relevant and um, just a great project that you're working on. And the big announcement again? Um, our big announcement was that we've reached over uh, $45,000 within six weeks, and we already have a house on escrow. Our overall goal is to reach half a million by, uh, by the end of uh, June uh, 1st, 2014. Thank you for being here today. 
Sandy, thank you uh, on me for the chamber for uh, allowing Flory and the group to come here today. Well, we are in your corner. We're happy to support you, and we will be working alongside you until you reach your goal. And just so proud of the youth in our community. Um, you're really a, a shining example of, um, of just great leadership. So thank you. we're right behind you. Thank you. Chris Spiker, Lancaster Chamber of Commerce Business for Breakfast at Schooners with uh, the kids from uh, Lancaster High School collecting money for an amazing American, Gerald Hancock. Thank you.